let's do our comic book haul okay let's do a comic book haul people have guessed what this is it's cards okay but which cards right so there are these things that I have on my watch list on eBay that pop up right and if I see a great deal I zap them I grab them I put them on a watch list uh, sometimes when you put something on a watch list you get a deals coming in and then you can zap it right this thing I just went I saw it as buy it now I went buy it now I checked it make sure yep buy it now okay it cost a two hundred dollars US and it was going through eBay's global shipping program and eBay's global shipping pro program was twenty twenty dollars right so twenty two dollars US buy it now shipping included it didn't include any duties because it was coming from the States so I was I had my fingers crossed that I was gonna get zapped with taxes however when it came across the border when I got it when I went to pick it up from the post office I had to pay tax on it too and I paid uh, there was tax and handling fee right so the tax on this thing because when you convert $200 they tax on the $200 right $200 comes out to $273 it's more now Canadian right <laughs> because Canadian dollar is going down thanks to clown show here right and uh, so on $273 they charged me uh, $33 tax right and then there was a $10 processing fee so on 270 welcome to Canada by the way on 273 dollars they charged me 43 dollars in taxes and fees right so that comes out to it they, they say inflation is what five percent they're out of their minds <laughs> 40 hold on 43 divided by 273 so 16 percent taxes and fees right 16 percent taxes and fees and uh, and then add to that you know twenty dollars us and stuff like this right uh, so basically all in was uh, 310 350 360 okay all in 350 360 and it's a great deal and it's a great deal okay so let me crack this open I don't think it's packed nicely it really isn't packed nicely it's loose it's going like this you know but there are in their original cases so hopefully the cards didn't get down around too much I've got to be careful opening this up <laughs> this is the whole game <laughs> look at the packaging job of this person and this guy wasn't a comic book seller right he was just selling random stuff so <laughs> oh man check out the packaging job of this <laughs> what the f <laughs> look at this like it's ripped over here like crazy <laughs> let's crack this open <laughs> oh my god Boss ride the trooper power is a dictatorship. See Germany 1930. Right stack fire. Right, right stack fire. So look at this. It's the guy put it in <laughs> a brown bag. <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> what kind of operation is this? Right? <laughs> silver on sensor tube i bet ebay call also called hst on those users yeah 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 the taxes are gst hst and pst gst hst and pst but it's not youtube uh i mean youtube ebay that did it it was canadian border that did it right so i didn't get charged when i bought them <laughs> this is on Twitch is saying be careful don't want to damage these <laughs> right? so Canadian government taxed it right is that McDonald's man? is it a McDonald's bag <laughs> it's a Walmart bag <laughs> Crazy. this has got to be one of the worst packaging jobs I've ever seen like it's just popping out Crazy, 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 crazy. 
<laughs> you gotta laugh at this shit. <laughs> Gang, let me show you what we got. Let me show nice, nice. Drug war trading cards. Drug war <laughs> trading cards. <laughs> Real Xenomorph uncensored. The on the Twitch says Walmart makes sense. Squishy guy. It's crazy how long they can withhold money for. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Let's hope the cards are okay. Let's hope the cards are okay. So we have a lot of I have a lot of drug war trading cards. We're gonna auction these off, right? So this wasn't what the money was spent on but let's crack it open make sure the cards are in good shape and they look like they're in really good shape are they in order it doesn't look like it they're not in order oh my no 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 they are in order 16 17 18 and we've read these okay uh if you go to our uh, ah they're sort of in and out of order so pretty good, right? So we got the drug war trading cards, okay, which we already have a bunch of, right? Eduardo on Rumble, Chicho can't stop by drug war trading cards. <laughs> Check this out. These are all Eclipse cards. So let me show you what we've got. There's some of these that we already have. So for example, bush league there's a bush league card remember we bought the bush league card we were gonna read it but it was all sealed up so i said oh i need to buy a new one because uh i don't want to crack the seal on the other one right so fantastic okay uh are all the cards there it looked like all the cars were in the drug war trading cards so i'm not if all the cars aren't there for the drug war trading card um, I should check them I guess I should check them should we check them let's check them let's check them because I'd rather check it now than have to check it later so basically it's got to go to 36 36 35 34 32 31 30 29 27 kicking down 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 and they look like they're in great shape by the way kicking down kicking down kicking down nice they're all there drug war trading cards we're gonna put these up for auction for sure right so there's drug war trading cards let's put them there okay let's lay it there so we got the bush league now we can take a look at them right we're gonna do a read on these as well most definitely most definitely george bush george bush the drug work create training car sure addicting indeed 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 so bush league these look great these look great look at this look at this these look great some of these we don't know richard nixon look at that nixon and the artist for these is uh art by uh Salem Yakub. Salem Yakub. Check that out. Let's see if that's going to show. There it is. Art by Salem Yakub and text by Paul Bracato. Right? So let me do a quick check. Make sure they're all here. A vacation from work. Nice, Elder God. Till I. Uh, get a new pub in nothing a man i would i would wish you i wish you, i was in a city you had your pub i'd be there well maybe i'm glad you're i'm not in so let's see 36 35 34 33 32 31 30 29 28 27 26 25 24 23 22 21 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 nine eight seven six five four three two one very nice very nice very nice uh no it's a different guard the drug war trading cards the artist is uh... oh no it is the same artist salim so this is the drug war trading cards it is the same person i forgot yeah so same person okay so cool and the art for the drug war trading cars is fantastic love it love it love it so bush league is in 
we're set to do readings for the bush league elder god chicho you won't have to reach into your pocket oh brother thank you very much thank you very much i'm coming over <laughs> So we got the Bush League trading cards. So that's two decks. That's two decks. Okay, that's two decks. Let me show you something else we got. We already have. We got Iran Contra. We already got this. We got to do a reading of this, right? So this is the second deck of the Iran Contra. So I don't know. We got like, uh, I'm. We got eight sixty four, eighty four. I don't know how many drug war trading cards we got. This was uh, the one down here was the second bush league this is the second iran contra uh deck we have right so fantastic let's do a count let's do a count i'll show you and these look great these look great so check it out ollie north ollie north the main player the main player or the face of the iran contra right party and all god's lonely pickets says right and the artist looks like it's the same person yeah the artist is whoop, and we will definitely read these again the text is paul uh brancato and the artist salim uh Yukwap, right okay these must be uh you mean the guy with the mustache i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm not sure okay and we're going to do a count make sure they're all here who's on the blossom blossom oh who's on the blossom oh good eye plutonic polarist who would that be who would that be check it out who would that be oh man I was following i was really young when i was following iran contra i don't know who that would be anyone know i would we would have to read it let's see in the summer of 1987 we're reading the first card select committee of the senate and the house Rep house of representatives held joint public hearings into the iran contra affair in what could fairly be called a damage control operation the committee focused their investigation on whether president ronald president reagan knew that funds generated by the sale of missiles to iran had been diverted to the nicaraguan contra rebels at a time when congress had forbidden government support for them and the question of whether the profits from these sales actually went the important question regarding the u.s we'll read this whole thing okay let's read it no censor tube. this we can read i'm pretty sure this we can read oh the god if censor tube gang if you get killed you got the links right the important question regarding the u.s waging a dirty and illegal war against nicaragua the cia's collusion with known drug traffickers and the involvement of vice president george bush is that george bush no that's not george bush george bush and his staff were largely ignored scores of witnesses ranging from a spies to cabinet officials gave rousing pro-contra speeches while committee members uh, lob, lobbed softball questions and occasionally gave pro-contra uh, acolytes uh, of their own the star of the hearing was oliver north a charismatic marine lieutenant co colonel who wore an, ex uh, an expression like a wounded hound and spoke in a voice trembling with patriotism in spite of the in that in inadequacies in, in, in of the hearings the american public got a glimpse of a secret government a group made up of mostly retired cia and military personnel who carried out foreign policy for the white house with no accountability to congress or the public it is this secret team and its connection to the white house that is the central focus of these cards deep st 
state, deep state, right? Oh, we're going to do a read on these babies. I'm guessing, who was the head of the CIA at that point? I'm guessing that the face in the blossom was the head of the CIA. I can't remember who the head of the CIA was. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think it's Kissinger. Uh, I don't think it's Kissinger. Uh, give me a Siggy. Might be uh, Somoza since Nicaragua was mentioned. It, maybe is that Somoza in the background? The guy with the mustache? Check it out. The guy with the mustache? Right? I don't know. I don't know. So, Iran Contra. Keep in mind, this, again, this, all these decks cost. Uh, 350 Canadian all in okay it's either John uh, Keldon on censored says it's either John point Dexter William Casey maybe maybe William Casey and point Dexter I remember his name as well right William Casey was uh, three-letter boss until um, 1987 so it could could be Casey if you guys want to look up uh, his picture right we got another deck we've done the reading for. I'm so happy to get this. And this is the original deck. It's not the revised version after the Oliver Stone JFK assassination. Coup d'etat, the assassination of JFK. Awesome. This is our third deck. This is our third deck. I've been trying to get my hands on this. The price of this is going up on eBay. The first deck I bought for like I don't know all in it was like 35 bucks 40 bucks the second deck it cost me around the same maybe 50 bucks or so the prices i've seen for this going the buy it nows are above 100 they're 80 to 100 dollars us okay if it comes up for auction sometimes it goes for um if you're lucky it goes for 60 okay 50 maybe okay if you're really lucky, it goes down to 40. But buy it now, and I've seen buy it now being sold. When you do sold auctions, people buy this for 100 bucks, right? It's him. It's William Casey. Thanks, Elder God. Awesome, awesome, awesome. These were a great read. So important. So important. By the way, gang. Coup d'etat assassination of JFK and drug war trading cards reading these two decks you learn more about US history okay geopolitics and politics and the deep state and secret operations you would more learn more about reading these cards the readings that we did 30 72 cards total than you would taking uh, all of high school history including history you would have taken at university these 72 cards contain more factual history like real history what really took place than you will ever learn in any centralized institution right fantastic we're oh, going to count the cards we've got to count the cards we've got to count them as we do okay and these look great these look like they're in great shape great shape right so 36 yeah they're white too they're fantastic they're beautiful nice 36 35 34 33 32 31 30 29 28 27 26 25 24 23 22 21 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 sweet sweet all the cards are there fantastic fantastic so that's four decks we've got a total of eight eclipse card decks right let me show you one we're gonna do the reading for we've done the main reading for this card right Kelvin is recommended seeking out the episode of forensic files 
uh, that breaks down the JFK assassination. Yeah. Rotten to the core trading cards. Eight decks of Eclipse comics. This was included. And if these cards are in as beautiful shape as the coup d'etat, this well worth the buy. Well worth the buy, right? We've done the reading for the Donald Trump rookie card. Donald Trump rookie card. PK rock on Chicho salutations. Oh, let's check out the box. Let's check out the box. Oh, what's that? Let's see. Let's see. Hold on a second. The cars look great. See the box here? The coup de is clean, right? Let me see this one. Iran Contra scandal. Ah, a little bit dirtiness there. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Let's see. Thing. Okay, let me see this one. No, this is clean. Okay. I'm going to show you why I'm checking. And this is clean. Okay. So, reason I'm checking is because of this. Check out the box for this. It's got stains in there. Now, it's not water stain. It doesn't look like it's water stain. It could be, but it's, there's no warping, right? And the cards seem to be good. And this, it's got a little bit of stain on the thing. See that on the bottom, right? So let's check it. We want card 26. And there's a little bit of stain in the back. Oh, 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 there's a couple of cards here that are stained. Rudy Giuliani, check out the back. Rudy Giuliani stained, right? Rudy Giuliani stained. Okay, see that brown? Okay, oh, oh, Rudy Giuliani stained. Let's check it out, let's check it out. Card 35 is stained. Okay. Alf. Fonzo Domingo, the Mato, right? So we got stain on Rudy Giuliani. Let's see card 26. Oh, Donald Trump looks sweet. Clean, clean, clean. The back is clean. The front is clean. And the card looks fantastic. Look at that. And the card looks fantastic. I've seen uh, nine graded. It was a nine or ten? Nine? I think it was a nine. Maybe it was a ten. Ten go for a thousand dollars. PSA graded. Okay. So this looks great. The Donald Trump card looks great. I'm very glad this is not stained. So let's do a count. We have 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24. 23 22 21 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 okay check this out 6 5 4 3 2 1 they have a little bit of staining biggest one is on number one and it gets less and less up to number six and the staining is on this side i don't know if you can see it just a little bit right the browning okay so still a good deal still a good deal fantastic deal i'm okay with this okay car 26 looks fantastic i might take this baby out and put it in the case okay just because the box uh, we don't want I don't think the staining will go anymore because this is totally dry but we don't want to take the risk so rotten to the core this is I don't know I have a few of these with the Donald Trump card and we have a few without the Donald Trump card and we're gonna auction at least two of those apologies without the Donald Trump card but it'll have the Rudy Giuliani card the one we're gonna auction uh, as a twitch appreciation for points later on uh, in november now so 
these five I already had, right? These five I already had. Uh, let me check this out. Uh, Plutonic points. It's in any case interesting and let the reader want to research and know more about the topics. Indeed, indeed, Plutonic points. These cards for sure, for sure. Now, let me show you this. Foul ball. I've been planning buying, try to get my hands on all the eclipse trading cards. So we didn't have this one. Fantastic. Vanessa 45 on sensor tube. Salutations. Welcome, welcome to our live stream. So foul ball, baseball's greatest scandals, scoundrels, and screw ups. Adramas greetings on Twitch. So fantastic. I didn't have this. Oh, the box has got a little bit of staining there. Okay. This is a little bit bent. It's okay. Right? A little bit bent. This you, you can pick up fairly cheap. The back of the box is clean. Okay. Da, 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 greetings. Uh, Elder God, correction. Uh, Elder God, within the cars, there were some inside jokes. Uh, from the testimony in card one iran contra scandal hearing there there's an image of oliver north and a flower potted plant with glasses a reference to north north over the top attorney ah brendan sullivan jr <laughs> when told that his his objections were not permissible because the hearing was not a court of law his response was quote I'm not a potted plant. Ah. <laughs> awesome find, Elder God. Awesome find. By the way, gang, here's here's a documentary. Try to track down. There's a documentary on Oliver North running for government. Okay, he was either running for the Senate. I don't think he was running for president. Maybe for president. I don't think for president. In the '90s, I think he was running. Okay, or he was writing running for the Senate or something or a uh, governorship, right? And it's a documentary that follows him around and interviews him. If you, I've watched this documentary years ago, right? And it's an incredible documentary because Oliver North was a 100% believed in everything he said, and he was a precursor to Bush Jr really bush jr the way they spoke and the ideas that they were sharing or they were being told to share it was i almost identical to bush jr okay it's if you're into politics like digging deep down and getting a sense of what makes u.s domestic and foreign policy tick it's an eye-opener to watch that documentary and one of the things that sticks with you in that documentary is how bad his teeth were like they were brownish it was weird it was surreal it was a great documentary by the way i can't remember the name okay if you're a baseball fan I, this would be a must-have right this would be a must-have uh let's put this here uh oh yeah no let's put it like this check this out the black socks scandal right very cool very cool so let's make sure all the cards are here 36 35 34 the cards look great 34 33 32 31 30 29 28 27 26 25 24 and one very nice very nice foul ball foul ball nice we got the foul ball at some point we're going to read all these by the way at some point we're going to read all these hold on let me fix this up 
<clears throat> a perfect oh is that what it's called Adramas, a perfect candidate that, that rings a bell maybe it's that's what it is i can't remember the date of the documentary foul ball nice look at this this is smaller that's why the cars looked a little weird this is smaller than the the other ones interesting interesting 1996 thank you very much Adramas. so the documentary on oliver north is foul uh, a perfect candidate 1996 and then george bush jr comes along becomes the governor of texas i believe that year or did he serve two terms and then uh he becomes president in 2000 2001 right interesting smaller let me show you this one this will be interesting read as well look at this savings and loan scandal wall street wall street savings and loan scandal wow 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 i've been eyeing this as well cash for trash daisy chain kickbacks oh this has got two things oh check this out this is the first time seeing this this has got two guys uh, of these things one of them is other current issues the same stuff as before but this one is savings and loan glossary glossary wow 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 very cool if you like wall street this would be amazing allegations broker deposits bush bust out cash for trash that was, that was that stuck cash for trash everywhere daisy change kickback land flip ponzi scheme straw borrowers haha <laughs> we'll be reading this for sure let's check it out let's make sure all the cars are there look at that look at that look at that look at that so the artist is Stuart. oh we should have looked at who created the other ones but we will once we do it look at this dennis bernstein and laurel uh seidel are the writers and the art is Stuart uh stan stanyard right look at this bang give up your money that's ronnie give up your money that looks like ronnie <coughs> we see we see it is it is ronald reagan licensed to steal bang give up your money the bank bandits oh super nice super nice let's do the count 36 35 34 33 32 31 30 29 28 27 26 25 24 23 22 21 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 very nice all here we're gonna be busy we're gonna be busy so we got the savings and loan okay now check out this one <laughs> this one is on the expensive side rock bottom awards the best and worst in bad taste the comedy channel presents the rock bottom awards eduardo is it Oliver North memo to history 1987 no I think that one is related to the, the Iran Contra documentary uh, I think the one that where he's running for candidate is a 1996 one but thanks for finding that Eduardo I didn't know there I think I knew there was one regarding the Iran Contra with Ollie North 1980 uh, 1987 but um, I don't remember that one as well okay this one rock bottom and if you look online this one is selling anywhere between 100 to 200 right the reason being there's a donald trump card in here as well i think it's his second rookie card 
second card of Donald Trump. Oh, this is the same artist as uh, JFK. And look at this one. This is a little dirty as well. So they might have been a little bit of water damage on these. Hopefully that Donald Trump card is not damaged. The cards aren't damaged. Let's see. The cards look okay. The cards look great. The cards look great. Okay. The back box looks great. So here's a little. Oh, this one has two as well. Oh, what's this? The Comedy Channel. The Comedy Channel, HBO's 24 hour basic cable program service, features original hosted programs, stand up comedy, short film serials, the original program included. Oh, look at this. About the Comedy Channel. And this is other trading cards. Okay. And this is from 1990. Oh, it's got Jesse Helms. <laughs> And the artist is Bill Sikwinski. I forget his name. Check that out. Fantastic. One of the greatest comic book artists there is from 1990. Peggy Gordon, art by Bill. I someone said how to pronounce this. Sin Sin Ku Which Sinkwich? Sinkwich? Bill Sinkwich. Right? So let's do a count. 35 th uh, 36 35 oh it's got ronald reagan too wow look at that ah oh, because he had he got uh parkinson's i believe right either alzheimer's or parkinson's right so 36 35 34 33 32 31 uh 30 29 28 27 26 oh it's got Bush, baby Bush. They call this baby Bush. What? This is beautiful. 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. Wow. Oh, it's got Madonna. I'm going to put my finger. This is Madonna. I'm going to put my finger there because this would not be permitted on uh, uh, Twitch or SensorTube. It's got a mm, booby. Um, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, oh, uh, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh, hold on. Nine, oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's seven. Nice. Seven nine eight seven six five a little bit of out of order five four three two one now i know what the donald trump card looks like right puts a finger to hide that he flips <laughs> i <was> so <laughs> Then I flip you guys over. Sorry, <laughs> man. That's a forty-five. Oh yeah, you're not buffering here. Oh, a sensor two buffering. Boo, sensor two. Nice. Let me see if I can find. Oh man, this is beautiful. This is effing beautiful. Depraved indifference to privacy and decent ratings. This is beautiful. <laughs> man you gotta be kidding me these are amazing okay let me find we're, we're, we're gonna do a read through these no doubt about it no doubt about it but let me see if i can find the donald trump one this is rare this is rarish. Who's this? Oh! <laughs> Who's this? Gang, take a guess. Who's this? I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. But who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Mm. 
give up? Give up? Should I let you know? Should I let you know? I'm gonna let you guys know. I'm gonna let you guys know. You'll never guess. I wouldn't have guessed. I wouldn't have guessed. I want to say Trump. I, 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 no, it's not Jim. Jim and Tammy Baker, the evangelical people, right? Wow, 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 beautiful. I feel good. The way I knew I would. Nice. What is this? Look at this. Three's never enough company. Here's the other Donald Trump card. This has got to be his second. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, this is Trump. Look at that. Awesome. Just pure awesome. Right? Awesome. Absolutely. awesome and the title for this is three is never enough company right and then in the back check this out it says delusions of grandeur right he did become president right Sh should i read this to you guys do you guys want to read on this card we're going to do a full read on it at some point but i'll read you this uh, he's obnoxious, abrasive, and not nearly as good looking as he, as he tells everybody he is. Nevertheless, he seems to constantly be in the news. Why? We've had Trump, the building, Trump, the casinos, Trump, the airline, Trump, the books, and even Trump, the game. We have also just been bombarded with pictures and stories about Trump, the mistress. We're referring, of course, to Marla Maples, the semi-sweet, semi-talented Southern Belle who's been on Trump, the, pay the payroll, so to speak, for several years. Well, according to our hidden microphone in Trump, the tie, we can tell you that Marla has company and lots of it. It seems that Trump, the man, has always envisioned himself as the head of a great harem in fact his original intention was to populate trump the tower with his concubines and their attorneys each would have to have some sort of pre uh, cohabitation agreement that would need to be frequently updated and disputed of course believe it or not trump the philan philanderer did believe that somehow trump the wife and children would never find out sounds incredible doesn't it not to trump the egomaniac well apparently marla got wind of his plan and vetoed it on the spot she was not about to share her hard-won television and print interviews with some 50 other bimbos so now trump the financially exposed and aging autocrat may have to change his ways. Then again, maybe not. Look for this, his new book, Trump, The Temper Tantrum. Wow, wow, wow. Peaky Blinders from Wales. Salutations on Sensor 2. Awesome. beautiful art wow sorry guys if I'm, we're gonna read through these at some point fantastic very happy to have this and the second trump 
Trump the return of the gods says. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. Oops. Oh, yes, yeah, there. So 36 cards as well. Okay. And very happy to have all of these. And as far as deal goes, great deal. This, great deal. Uh, you could maybe get it. And the card looked great, great condition. Maybe get it anywhere between ninety to hundred dollars. Okay, buy it now. Uh, these ones are on the cheap side. Uh, you know, ten bucks, ten bucks maybe. Right. We know how much this costs because some of the staining was on the Rudy Giuliani card and stuff. Like you can you can buy this for about hundred and fifty. US 140 even if you if you pull the trigger right away okay the trump card graded nine goes for a few hundred bucks coup d'etat JFK assassination 80 bucks right Iran Contra I don't know 20 bucks 15 bucks Bush League five bucks five bucks right either way getting these Eight decks very very happy in one shot right in one shot great comic book haul great comic book haul uh, very happy to get these one of the reasons was they're all being shipped together right unfortunate got nailed for 43 bucks at the border with taxes and fees otherwise it was even a better buy right it is what it is it is what it is yo you me salutations on twitch salutations on twitch gang we're 40 minutes in okay uh unfortunately we're gonna have to kill the stream on sensor tube um first time chat tiny comics these are trading cards trading cards with history so these are basically if you want to learn history uh we did a full reading of this deck coup d'etat the assassination of jfk okay oh we've already been up for oh yeah we've been up for over an hour not 40 minutes i forgot thank you all god and they're trading cards so we did the full reading of this deck 36 cards they have beautiful artwork in the front and history in the back okay fantastic fantastic